So good morning everyone. As promised, we're going to do a cross country ski video this morning. We woke up to, we didn't go last night, so we're going in the morning. We woke up to six inches of fresh powder. It's just magnificent outside. So there was a question before we get started on, on gear. How come do you need so many skis? Why, you know, I see you guys have lots of different skis. Don't you just need one set of skis? The answer is no. Um, there's, I do four different types of, I guess you would call skiing or snowboarding. So what we're doing today is just traditional cross country. Well, a little bit more. It's more of a backcountry cross country, which is a traditional cross country ski that hinges, you know, very lightweight skinny. The difference is, is they have metal edges. So you can do a little bit of descending with them. It's not perfect, but that is what we're gonna be doing today. That's what we're gonna do in the long, in the deep, dry, steep powder when we just wanna to go touring. Uh, the other type of skiing we do, there's actually a couple different types, um, more of a traditional alpine ski like this here, have, but with a twist in that we have uh, rondinet or touring bindings. So they're dual, dual purpose bindings. They can be used on the groomers, uh, lift, chairlift skiing, normal traditional skiing, locked down, ride just like a normal ski, or you can do it to go into what they call touring mode, which is like a cross country where you can actually skin. So this is for backcountry stuff when you're doing climbing. We actually uh, stick on these, for lack of a better term, carpets on the bottom so we can go uphill. And when it's time to descend, we're done with this feature of the bindings. We lock them down and go ahead and go down. Take the, car take the carpets off or the skins off. So that's the two types of skis that I have. Uh, snowboarding. Um, kind of very similar. So this is a backcountry or a split board. It mean, what it means is it splits into two different pieces, essentially turning it into two skis. So these bindings come off of here, they snap on here, and you can, again, put the carpets on the bottom, the skins, and go up um, steep, 45 degree angles, no problem. Um, you take the skins off, once you're done climbing, you snap the board together, and now you have traditional snowboard. So there is that. And then my favorite, which I've been doing from back in the day, 1987. Well, 1987 they didn't have boards like this, but Alpine Carving. This is an older one. Um, What's well, really old, but I've taken good care of it, and this is an Alpine Carving board. This is my favorite thing to do. You can see very long, very stiff, very fast, kind of a giant slalom, GS slalom down, you know, really, really hard carving, hard turning. You wear more of a traditional type of a ski boot with him. Um, so that, I hope that explains the, uh, the variety of skis and snowboards. So cr cross country boots are, they're like kind of like hiking boots, but they have a, a pin in the front which snaps into the binding. And Mrs. W's are a little bit different. Yeah, so I've got the three holes and he's got a, a pin, so there's different types. There's also racing, these are just, like when you're going through the snow or not going too fast. Kind of a backcountry type of a cross country ski. Yeah. And these are gaiters and what they do is they go underneath your boot and they hold on. So when you have a lot of snow, they don't go into your boot or up your pants. So it's Velcro, a little elasticity. Here you can adjust it. If you get these, make sure you put the buckle on the outside. Otherwise you're, you'll kick your ankles and kick them all the time. And then uh, they cinch at the top to hold everything in place. And I frequently, ha I have uh, some skinnier leggings, but these are all fleece lined and warm. And so uh, it's a little bulky around my ankle, but not too bad. And they have a little hook that hooks onto the front of the shoe right there. that keeps them from riding up. Praise 
yourself and nestle into me. Bear it all like falling autumn leaves. You don't even know me that well. Now every blossom's ready to explode. Are you bribing those dogs? I'm totally bribing them. <laughs> uh, I, I would say there's a little bit of snow. What would you say? I had we were gonna fly have the the go, the quad follow, follow us around and it started getting wet. It's just there's too much snow, so we're we're back old school with the action camera. And well, and you know what I like? I've got the weight. It's it's good for training. Oh, all the extra drone batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, so this is we're gonna head on down to Elderberry Bridge. Yeah. You want to go first? You can. All right, here we go. Look, look out, Heart Racer. We've taught Heart Racer. When we say look out Heart Racer, she jumps off, <laughs> jumps off the path. Well, there's a name under there somewhere. Trust me, it's there. <laughs> All right, you go first. Remember the first time we crossed this, it was a log and you fell off? Come on, baby girl, you gotta stay in the tracks. It's too deep for you. So Mrs. W was just asking if I could build a, uh, a machine to pull behind the tractor to uh, cut in our cross-country ski tracks at the, so we don't have to break trail all the time. And I haven't seen one that's like a small version. I've only seen the ones at the big resorts, but if you know of one, have you ever seen one, send me a picture or a link to it. That's something I think we could build pretty easy. Do you know what our operation is this afternoon? What? Project barbed wire. <laughs> so. There's this barbed wire on the corner and every year we go, ah, we're gonna take it down. So you gotta come down the steep grade, make a hard right, and then <laughs> and then and scoot like six inches from the barbed wire without uh, getting in it. It's just terrifying. Let's, let's cut that down a bit. <laughs> I like the challenge. I don't. Here we go. Right there is the barbed wire. It's worse than I remember. You have to take a hard right or you run right into it. At the bottom of the grade. Yeah, I should probably do something with that. See right here? <laughs> you coming down. <laughs> then you gotta step. <laughs> and then miss the hard wire. Hurry, miss the barbed wire. You'll notice that I'm not going in your tracks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll bring the fence pliers next time. We'll cut it out. We'll put a nice wood fence there. How about one that's got like a gate so it opens and you don't know it opens and then you can roll into the And just shoot door. right through it. Yeah. This is why we moved here. Did you see this tree? Yeah. It came down in the last windstorm. That was, what, five days ago. The wind blew that one down. Yeah. This is my least favorite part. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Instead of going right, let's go left, where I cleared trail yesterday. So down at the bottom of this very steep rise is the Rock and Roots Bridge. And I, cr I have never tried this without crashing. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, too much speed. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm down. So you took the more prudent route. I am perhaps the more prudent of the two of us. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. So we're heading into the, uh, the spooky woods. This is an area that we've intentionally left really dense and thick because it's fun to ski through. This is where I tested the OSA survival kit that really let me down. I'll, uh, uh, if you haven't seen that, I think you'll enjoy it. It's kind of, it's pretty funny. So this company, this hair care product company, came out with a survival kit, and they kept hounding me, wanting me to promote it for them. 
And so I kept saying, no, no, I don't, I'm not interested in that. And they insisted, so I had accepted it. And so I took it out for a real world test. And uh, it didn't do very well. I'm gonna wait till the end. I'll include a link to that video in the end. Um, I think you'll enjoy that. It's pretty funny. So this is our second steep grade. Miss W, you going first? Huh? Let's see some air. Oh goodness. This is so hard to video. I'm gonna go the fast way. Oh goodness. It may not seem very steep, but on cross country skis, it's a whole nother animal. <laughs> what do you think, Racer? Huh? You like to go? She likes to go. She's a good girl. She likes to be carried, too. <laughs> she does fine until we stop. And she gets bored. All right, let's go. Mama, you lead trail, break trail for a bit. Okay. Wild, distant water show me where to run. Papa, let me know I'm not enough. Oh, you took out the life. Left me the hole. Are you the sailor or the siren in the tide? Trust the tiny ocean and be There's some things in this backpack you needed? Yeah, on the very top. This thing has too many zippers. Yeah, that's why I said that maybe I'll bring my backpack to find down. I am really looking forward to breakfast. Mama Kitty's going crazy. I don't need that cat. We don't need no cats around here, do we? Good morning, or good afternoon, Sunday morning. You're watching this the same day that we did it. And not only that, after a nice long invigorating ski, Mrs. W went out and ran 15 miles. I didn't join her. I made breakfast with sausages. So I owe you an apology. I was supposed to upload, or I was supposed to attach to this, I promised Miss W, uh, the part two of uh, decorating her Christmas wreath. I have the footage. Do you, I know there's a lot of people that are working on the, that and wanted to see that. Do you want it today? <laughs> I, can, I can put it together really quickly. Or if is tomorrow okay? Uh, if you can wait one more day, let me know in the comments. If you just must have it today, let me know as well. And I will throw it together and put it up. But um, it turned out really nice. Really, really nice. So 
what's going what's up next you know I had all these plans to do the sawmill and the firewood processor but well, it, you know it changes so I don't know what tomorrow will bring but it's going to be fabulous whatever it is so don't forget to uh, if you don't mind uh, leave a comment we really appreciate that it helps our channel and that's how you can show support um, for all the content that we provide and don't forget to thumbs up Sorry, I have to beat, beat a dead horse, keep asking, but um, well, we all need reminders from time to time, myself included. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.